Hello everyone. My name is Moose Henderson and we're here in my tiny house on Photographers Monday where we help photographers beat the Monday blues by sharing photography tips and helping to solve problems. Today we're going to take a look at my landscape photography tripod that I also use for macro photography. I am primarily a wildlife photographer but once in a while I also photograph macro and landscape subjects. Normally when I'm in the field I carry my big tripod. It uh, holds my long lenses very sturdy. It's big, it's sturdy, it's heavy, it's bulky, but it does an excellent job when it is supporting roughly 15 pounds of 600 millimeter lens, camera, and so on. When I'm doing landscapes, I want to be able to travel light and easy and there's no need to carry that big honking tripod. So I carry my smaller tripod. It is an Alta Pro 263 AT. As you can see it's roughly 20 inches long, has the three legs. Three legs will adjust so you can go up and down or just go to specific stops. It has the closures on the side that allow you to quickly expand this or to shrink it back down. It also has these rubber feet and these rubber feet have an adjustment where you can screw them all the way in and little spikes come out. These little spikes are good for holding it steady. Things like icy surfaces or other surfaces that might want to skate around. When I'm shooting inside the house I usually keep these all the way out so that those spikes are not damaging the floor. So let's take a look at how, how this little tripod functions. It's a good little tripod. It weighs just maybe a pound and a half. It has a bubble level that is located right here. You could put a tripod ball head on top of it or some other type of head depending on what you have. You have a knob over here that controls the pan of the monopod leg. You can also loosen this knob to be able to raise the monopod up and down. But I'm not a big fan of a center column except when it has a functional use and we'll see what that functional use is in a little while. I tend to think of a center column as a monopod on three legs. Okay, so we could take our camera and place it, well first we need to flip the bracket. This is just an all an Arca Swiss bracket on the bottom of my camera and you can put this in here and so as you can see now we're ready to shoot landscapes. But let's say you also want to do macro work instead of just landscape work and a lot of times macro work you have a flower that's over here and it has maybe a little insect on it and stuff and you can't get the tripod up right next to it 
because macro work is done really close. So the advantage of this little tripod is it allows you to rotate the head. You bring the center column up and take it completely out. The center column has a little stop down here that you press and that allows you to take this completely off and then you release this clamp and that allows you to raise the portion of the bracket up and now you take and put your camera back in to this or you you take the monopod and put it back in here so now we have a support that can go out to the side and be able to photograph like an insect that's right over here without getting the legs in the way. And all we got to do is adjust our camera and things like that. So as you can see that makes it really convenient. So even though this is a center column that I'm not very fond of, it does serve a very essential purpose when I'm doing macro photography because now if I need to move just a hair of an inch I can do it like that without having to move the entire three legs all over the place and scare the heck out of the insect. Another thing you could do is hang a little sandbag from off here at the other end to help counterbalance the weight of the camera. So that gives you a pretty good idea of how this tripod works. It's not big, giant, and sturdy like the big honking wildlife photography tripod that I have. But when you're doing landscape photography, your entire setup weighs maybe three or four pounds. The camera and the lens, maybe two pounds. The tripod, the head, everything like that, another two pounds. You're maybe up to four pounds total. So give this tripod a, a try. I find it to be a very good solution for what I need and it serves more than one function. So thanks for joining us on Photographers Monday. Please hit the like button if you found this to be beneficial. Also subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that YouTube will notify you each time we upload a video. We do a video at least once a week helping you solve photographers problems and taking you on photography trips. I will see you all next time. Thank you.